All right, it's the next morning. Look, we got two big sailboats show up right next to me. Oh, wow. I can see the bottom. And there's some fish down there. And a lot of kayaks and these tour boats. Becoming a crowded place. Oh, look, oh, that's, how people are, that's how people are getting on the beach. I saw footprints the other day and I thought they were climbing down the cliffs like I did. That cliff was really hard to climb down, climb up. And uh, they just got dropped off by the tour boat. I just raised the sail and pulled up his anchor. This place was just getting a little too crowded for me. Even though it is pretty cool. Um, I saw it yesterday. I must have got here yesterday just after all the tourists left. Because it's been packed since early this morning. I think we'll just sail down the coast a bit. Find another place to anchor. Some town where I can get some groceries later. And uh, should be a nice little, short little day sail. Maybe a couple hours. Lagos up here. I was going to go in that marina. Had good reviews. One moment. But I don't really think anyone to go to Big Town now. I think I go to a smaller town for that long. Got some other sailboats out today. I'm excited, uh, pickled herring might be getting some new uh, laminate sails in the future. So we'll see how that goes as this guy is talking about um, sponsoring some new sails for pickled. And I think we could get a little extra speed and performance out of that. And some new sails would just be pretty, pretty nice for this, this boat. All right, so we're coming up on our little next set of caves and beaches. It's kind of cool in there. The wind is kind of blowing us into the shore though. So you can see there's some chop. It doesn't look that comfortable. So maybe we we'll just anchor for a, a little bit. So I dropped the anchor. We're about 200 feet from this uh, cliff here. And I'm not really digging it. It's super choppy to take the dinghy out. I'll probably wait a little bit, make sure the anchor holds, and then and then take the dinghy out anyway. I guess I can go in that cave. That boat just went in there, didn't come out, so we'll see. All right, let's check out these sea caves. Man, pickle hair is fucking and rolling over there pretty good. That's neat, it's a pirate ship. Oh wow, oh it's a tiny little thing. I think I can fit in there. Oh, this is amazing. It's like the real life Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's so blue. I feel like this is where there could be buried treasure if there was going to be some. So many cool hiding spots. Here's another one. I don't want to scare these birds because I'm afraid they're going to poop on me. Does that one open up? I think it goes to a beach in there. Let's go further. Uh, maybe that one's a little rough. But sometimes the waves are breaking in on me. Let's go back. All right, what's the next cave? I think there might be a cool one like around here or around here. I saw some boats going in there. This one behind me is looking pretty promising.
Wow. So cool. Ah, it's time to climb up there. We're a little worried about the dinghy. Maybe over here is easier. Okay, back to Pickled Herring. I think we sail on to one more set of caves this evening, and then maybe we sail through the night and find a uh, more protected place to anchor, and uh, position ourselves and to get some more supplies in a couple days. We are back. We've got a bit of a predicament now. <clears throat> uh, my jib, uh, Somehow, the spinnaker halyard, the spinnaker halyard's like right here. That got tangled up in the top of the furler, which happens every once in a while when I don't have the jib halyard, or the spinnaker halyard like pulled behind the, the shrouds. I don't really know why. I probably need to work that out. If anybody's got any ideas how to keep the spinnaker halyard from getting rolled up in your jib. Usually I just keep some tension on it and it, it works, but I don't know. But this time, it's gotten even more of a pickle because there's a little split ring that holds the, uh, locks the, the jib halyard um, on so it can't come undone. I think it just goes through the shackle. There's like a little split, there's a little, you know, split ring, you know? And somehow the spinnaker halyard has worked its way through the split ring. I can see it up there. And while the jib was halfway furled and I can't, now I can't roll the, uh, the sail up. I also can't unroll the sail all the way because then the, it just sucks the spinnaker hired in. I've been trying to shake it out. So I think I'm gonna have to climb the mast with the sail up. And I think it's probably best to do it while I'm actually sailing because then the, the rocking will, and rolling won't be quite as bad as opposed to doing it at anchor where it's just gonna be really rolly because there's a little bit of a swell out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hope I don't fall in the water. So there's our problem. Ooh, we are rocking. Tiny little bit of uh, movement down there equals a ton of movement up here. Oh, <laughs> scary. Okay, back on deck. Let's see if that worked. Got the spinnaker halyard nice and tight. Try to pull it sail out now. There it goes. It's a big boat. We're coming up on our anchorage. I think if we go behind this rock, it'll block the wind. Still a little bit of choppiness in the water, but not as bad as it was before. And the wind is slowly gonna shift around. So it's coming from the land overnight. So I think, I, I think I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. I don't see quite as many interesting sea caves over here. It's kind of a bummer. Actually, those might be like sea caves up higher. I guess it's just a really low tide maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna sail maybe another half mile because maybe there's a better spot further down. I mean, we've got, we've got wind, so if the spot doesn't inspire me, why stop, you know? Especially after the last two spots, they were so cool. Ah, uh, this spot looks much cooler. So, I think we'll anchor between there and there, right? In the middle. And just in time for sunset, and maybe a little walk on the beach. downwind so I let up maybe 80 feet 100 feet and then tie it off so wrap it around there and that should catch oh man and then we just come around here when the boat comes into the wind I can drop the sail into the bag I 
it's about to anchor here. Five to seven knots of wind. A little bit rolly, but not really that bad at all. And I think it's gonna calm down even more. Wow, good spot. So I'm gonna go row ashore and explore some of these beaches where I got a little bit of light and I'll bring the headlamp. Today is salmon for lunch. We're slowly drifting closer to these rocks. We're about 100 feet away, but I think we'll be okay. It's actually kind of nice because all of these uh, sightseeing boats have been going like in between us and the rocks, but now that we've drifted closer, we're finally, they're finally going the outside of us, which makes the waves not as bad from them, I think. I'm gonna go for a swim now because I'm starting to smell bad, actually. <laughs> and it's nice and warm out today. And the water is super clear. So back on the dinghy to explore some more caves. Unfortunately, all the tourist boats are here too, but they won't get it. They're not really getting in the way or anything, so. No worries, they mark out the, the good spots sometimes. This looks like a good one. Let's go inside here. It really feels like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney. I guess that's what they kind of mark it after. Going in there. Ah, we got in. Oh man, it's crazy weird noises in here. These rocks are super sharp. I had to touch the walls. It's like the whole room is breathing. Let's go into that one next. Get through. Oh, looks like more over here. More going over here. It's gonna be a tricky one. Just gotta go through it real fast, I think. Cool. Oh, it kinda looks like a skull with a mouth and eyes. Oh, ho, ho. All right, here we go. Oh, I love it. I love the blue color of the water too as you go through it. It's really cool. Oh, almost went ahead. Oh, the doors are bumping. Cool. We did it. You see a chunk fell off the top there. That's the styrofoam that it's not painted. It looks like the rest of the cave. Let's get in. Almost through. Okay, I've had enough. Being anchored here, and I'm kind of running on groceries again, so off we go to the next marina, just around the corner. There's not much wind, so I don't think we can make it very far if we start sailing. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna like probably sail down the coast in about two miles and go to the marina here. <laughs> Exploring the sea caves of the El Gave coast. In a little red dinghy, you can see the most. Thank you. 
There's a marina here. Looks very colorful. I'm eight meter sailing yacht. I'm looking for a, a slip for one night. Do you have one available? Okay, we'll stop at reception. Over. This looks like the reception area. There's reception. So this marina cost me 30 euros and also $20 deposit for the key card. That's pretty steep for a key card. So I guess I gotta remember to turn the key card here. I never remember to turn this. Also, 30 euros is pretty steep for a night for a marina. It doesn't seem like that fancy. More in the spirit of cruising to, to anchor more anyway. So I'll, I'll be doing that more probably. But I definitely need a shower every now and then. I'm starting to get kind of smelly. So we're at D45 here. 59, city numbers. There it is. Looks like we got to back up. Today is laundry day in the marina. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the videos or getting something out of them, and maybe uh, want to uh, look into joining the Patreon, so you could watch the videos maybe a little earlier or ad free, or if you. Uh, if you are interested in just buying me a drink, there's links in the description for how you can do it. If you can't, though, no worries. I'll see you guys in the next video.